So let's talk about this tool that can replace you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this tool is called Browser Use, and it's an incredible Python open source library that lets AI take the wheel of your web browser. Anything you can do using a mouse and a keyboard, it can replicate and do on your behalf. First, we give it a task, and then it uses a large language model like GPT-40 and others to break down the task into actionable steps. So it's gonna take our task and then make a series of steps to accomplish it. Then it uses a tool that can control the browser like Chrome or Safari, and this tool can click buttons, scroll, and fill forms on our behalf. So if you ask the AI to do something on Amazon.com, the browser will launch and navigate to Amazon.com. Then browser use takes a screen screenshot of the browser and sends it to the LLM for interpretation. So the large language model is going to look at the screenshot and it's going to decide the next step. For instance, it decides that it needs to use the search field so it can do a search. So then this is selected. Then it decides to search for whatever you want it to find on Amazon and then it does exactly that, so on and so forth. Now this loop or cycle keeps going until the task is done. Cool. By the way, the folks behind browser use have a hosted version that costs you $30 a month, which includes $30 worth of API credits, which is an awesome option if you don't want to set this up on your machine. So you could just use this instead. I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to know more. But honestly, it's super easy to set up as you're about to see. So let's do Python 3 minus MVN VN. And then we're going to activate the environment. So we'll do source vn bin activate. Next, I'm going to create two files. The first one is .env and the other one is main.py. The .env file is where we're going to add our OpenAI API key. So we can do open AI API key. And then you're going to paste your key here. Okay, next we're going to save the file. So make sure you have your key and then just close this one. And I'm going to quickly grab this example that they have on the Git repo. And I'm going to add it here. And the task here is just compare the price of GPT-40 and DeepSeek V3. Uh, let's just change this one to 4.5 since it's the latest update by OpenAI. So I'm going to do 4.5. And we just need to install browser use. So pip install browser use. And then after that's done, we're going to install Playwright. Uh, which is the library by Microsoft, which lets browser use control the browser. So we can do play, write, install. And that's it. We're good to go. So let's do Python 3, Python 3, main.py. And now browser use is going to launch this Chrome instance. Let me bring this here so you can see. Uh, so first it's searching for price of GPT 4.5 and then price of DeepSeek. And if you can see, it's just highlighting the elements that it needs to click or choose or select or whatever. And then there's uh, this communication happening with Playwright to control the browser. Now, if we go back to the terminal, as this is in progress, we can see that action, search Google, it's searching Google. And then, so it's looking for the GPT 4.5 pricing 2025. Okay, is it the pricing here? So yeah, it looks like it was able to pick this up. Let's take a look here. So we have comparison. GPT 4.5 is significantly more expensive compared to DeepSeek V3, which is true. GPT 4.5. So let's see. It's saying that the GPT 4.5 API cost is 75 per million. So obviously this was a super basic example, but you can see or you can imagine how you could tweak this to build something that works for you. You can ask it to go on specific websites, pick up some information, uh, you know, aggregate some data from many sources and uh, present that to you, or you can do other things. Now, personally, I'm just going to test this more, but it's definitely something very interesting. And it kind of works like OpenAI Operator, which is available for $200 a month, I think. So this, this is an open source alternative that kind of does the same thing on your own machine, or you can use their hosted solution if you want to. So in any case, I'm just going to be playing around with this a little bit more, trying to make some more complex uh, scenarios. If there's something specific that you want to see, or if you have any questions, please drop me a comment. I make sure to go through every single one of your comments. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to show even more support, you can become a member right now. Just click on this join button below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.